Hi everyone, this week we're going to take a look at some three-legged dogs that Roland and I have met and how they live life to the full. You'll see Marley the Border Collie who loves to fetch, swim and surf, Shiloh the Sharpe who had an accident with a car, Elfie the Bull Arab Cross who had bone cancer, and a 15-year-old Chihuahua mixed dog called Honey. Our first guest dog is a Border Collie called Marley. He lost his leg six months ago chasing a car, but he's adapted so well. And he's as busy on three legs as he ever was on four. Although it's a difficult thing to think about, limb amputation in dogs is pretty common nowadays, and it can greatly help your severely injured pet to enjoy a pain-free and full and happy life, just like Marley. If your dog has had a car accident or any accident, or even suffering from bone cancer or other serious diseases, sometimes your vet may suggest limb amputation. Know that most dogs will adjust to life on three legs with your help and your vet's advice. As you can see by Marley, he's so busy enjoying his life. He's running around, he's chasing balls, playing fetch, swimming, going out on the surfboard. He doesn't notice that anything's wrong. A busy life is a happy life when you are a Border Collie breed. How your dog copes with amputation and surgery does require a bit of thought and planning and taking your vet's advice. In the early stages, it may not be that easy for your dog to learn how to move around as they once did. The absence of a limb makes normal movement a bit of a task and your dog will have to learn how to make up for it before they become their usual bouncy selves again. However, with time, most can compensate for the changes in weight distribution and will learn to walk and even run again, just like they used to. Right now, we're going to leave Marley and say goodbye as he spends the rest of his happy day at the beach. Our next dog we're going to meet is a Sharpe. This handsome bundle of wrinkly love is Shiloh. He's five years old and was badly injured in a car accident. And happily, after a limb had been amputated, is another example of a dog leading a very happy three-legged dog's life. Shiloh's limb amputation happened very recently, only about three months ago. According to her mum, it took about two months for Shiloh to find her pointed balance and come back to her bouncy normal self. In the early stages of your dog's recovery, you might want to consider a harness, as it's so much easier to walk a dog with a front leg amputation if you put the leash on a harness versus the collar. As you can see, Shiloh is one happy, well-adjusted girl. We say goodbye to Shiloh now, and we meet our next three-legged dog, whose name is Alfie. We love your smiley face scarf, Alfie. Alfie was lucky enough to come into this happy family as a rescue dog, a two and a half year old bull Arab cross. As time went on, he began to walk with a limp and eventually became lame. On their vet's advice, they kept the dog quiet and let him rest. But as he wasn't getting any better, his mum took him to a specialist where they discovered bone cancer. Alfie's mum told us that after the bone cancer and limb amputation, he also had chemo. Alfie has to have regular testing to make sure the bone cancer hasn't spread. And in the meantime, he's lucky enough to get lots of love, cuddles and pat. Alfie is a great example of a dog who is more mobile after surgery. Often dogs with a bone tumour in their legs may limp and experience pain and go lame, just like Alfie. You may be advised to not allow your dog to run and jump, as there is less risk of a bone breaking. However, after the amputation and healing, Alfie can now go back to running and playing, just like before. Another good tip to help your dog heal is to give him lots of massages in the early days, as his muscles are probably very tired from being used in a new way, and massage will help the muscles to relax. Alfie's now fully recovered, he's fast on his feet, and his mum says he runs just as fast on three legs as he ever did on four. We say goodbye to handsome Alfie and say hello to the sweetest little fur baby called Honey. This little cute fur baby is a Dachshund and Chihuahua mix. 
Honey is a senior three-legged dog. She lost her leg when she was only one year old. She's now 15 years old, so she's been a three-legged dog for 14 years. So if Honey is 15 years old in dog years, that's equivalent to 105 years old in a human being. Another interesting point is that people who've never showed an interest in your dog before might suddenly start to come up and want to pet them. Other people may not even notice that your dog only has three legs. Whether it's the result of an accident or disease, limb amputation in dogs is common and dogs are great at coping with it as our dogs have shown today. A big thank you to the families who shared their stories with us today. Thanks to Marley the Border Collie, Shiloh the Sharpe, Alfie the Bull Arab Mix and Honey the Chihuahua. We love you. Thanks for watching our video. If you have a dog with three legs and you've got some tips you'd like to share, please write in the comment box below. We'd love to hear from you. If you're looking for a good cooking recipe for your dog's dinner or birthday party, head on over to my blog site called cookingfordogs.com. You'll find heaps of delicious recipes right there for you to try. To see more videos, subscribe to my channel. Roland and I wish you bon appetit.